Yeah, well, Jessica, the celebrations haven't started exactly yet, but you and I have both been to plenty of high school ceremonies before uh, graduation ceremonies, and you know that they could get packed, very busy, and that's the exact reason why the Kern County Public Health Department Director, Matt Constantine, is a little concerned. He's saying that these large crowds should be avoided at all costs, even though the Kern High School District has implemented many safety modifications in order to have these kind of ceremonies. Constantine is still advising against it. Our advice is to do everything possible to try to keep that uh, those gatherings down, either postpone them or um, cancel them for this point or do them virtually as we do a lot of our um, Zoom meetings now. There's other ways to do it. It's a concern director of public health Matt Constantine has had since the Kern County High School District Board of Trustees unanimously voted to allow graduation ceremonies for its schools in the district. It's important to recognize again that the governor's stay-at-home order remains and that community gatherings should not occur. Many have voiced their opinions about in-person graduation ceremonies on our 23ABC Facebook page. Rachel Reyes commented, don't take it away from the kids. They deserve to graduate. I'm excited to see my firstborn graduate. Blanca West wrote, I think children would prefer losing their graduation ceremony versus losing a parent or grandparent. And Robert Joe Flores Jr. said, leave them alone. My daughter is excited, and we all will be practicing social distancing, mask wearing, and following all rules. The public health director hasn't expressed his concerns directly to KHSD. Public health saying, quote, decisions should be made at a school board level, and we encourage compliance with the state. The high school district and other elected boards, school boards, have been trying to find ways to honor the children and their work while still not presenting a risk to the community. According to KHSD, HSD, there will be several safety measures in place. Students are only allowed to bring two guests. Eight feet of distancing is required between each family group, and all participants are required to wear masks. But Constantine says there is still health risks involved. I know this is a time to celebrate, um, and although we might be able to separate during a ceremony, people are anxious to get together and hug each other and acknowledge the work. So as you heard in the modifications there, this graduation is going to look a lot different than any of what we have seen in the years past. You could just see up here in the stands. That's where typically where guests would be sitting down watching their graduates walk across the stage, but that's going to stay empty. Instead, as you heard some of the modifications there, what they're going to do is those two guests that each student is allotted, they're going to actually sit with the students here on the football field. The student will walk then across the stage keeping their mask on, walk back to their seat, and uh, yeah, Golden Valley High School is going to be one of 18 schools having graduation ceremonies in the district. Uh, it's going to look a little different, but nevertheless, it matters. For now, we're live in South Bakersfield by Unwang, 23ABC, connecting you.